guys were right. You guys are right. You said uh, you said he'll be back, and he is back. Oh my goodness! Massive, uh, massive calls on on this doohickey here. Holy smokers! Pain in the flipping butt. I tell you. Basically, it was a bunch of um, creditors. You know, they're like, "Yo, you haven't paid your loan," and I'm like. I know I'm trying to get a job. I'm trying to do this online thing. I'm trying to sell my stuff here for clients. It's a mess. It's just a complete disaster. I don't understand what people want. What more do you want, man? They're like, it's been three months. You haven't paid. And I'm like, uh, yeah, because I don't have a job. Do you want to see all the places I applied? Anyways, this is the current setup system that I'm going to try to live stream with. We have the Zoom uh, microphone. We also have the other microphone that we will use for regular uh, conversation. And then I can just switch like this out and plug it in there. There you go. So that way I can have 3D audio or single channel audio. So I hope to feed you that data more. Now, uh, as far as the lens goes, obviously there's different lenses that, that I use. It just depends if I'm zooming or not. And if I want to see focus and nighttime, it just, it all depends. So otherwise this is like a wind thing. This is of course for the wind. I guess this is for a tripod. You can hook up a tripod here, but for now I'm just using it as, uh, to hold this thing. I would like to turn this upside down and put it right here. And then I could use the tripod that I'm using to film, obviously, for this. However, we just got this in the mail right now. Like, right now. So, we got this thing for, you know, like 30 days, starting today. 30 days. Count it down. So, small investment uh, in the long haul, but we've got to see if this can get us the production quality we want. This is the best I could find after days of research days of research it does come in a pretty sweet carrying case so that's nice looks like it's waterproof pelican almost um, so really sturdy that's pretty legit I should make a legit video with my legit camera on it but uh, otherwise let's open this up if we can automatic valve whoa okay yeah it's got it's pretty this is pretty crazy Oh, all right. So it's got these lips things, you know, you know, I, I, it's crazy. All right. So let's check this out. This is a uh, pretty self-explanatory, but it's amazing technology. And it isn't really until this world and society that we can do these things. So basically the idea is you can take your content and take any feed and upload it to the internet and that's the idea so they have their servers that can bond um, HEVC to translate it down to 264 which we're at 264 right now they also have their there's how their bonding thing works uh, I, I don't know if we want to do that yet it's like three dollars an hour so let's uh Let's let's shy away from the bonding for now because that's that's kind of expensive. Next is the share link. The share link allows us to take um, the either one Wi-Fi or one cellular and send it to share link and then send it to all your different feeds. And I guess that also costs money per hour, but yeah. Anyways, you could uh, also avoid all of that and just um, go direct from I believe a modem direct up yeah choose your pre platform and quality so you could go direct modem and up and then you wouldn't have a trouble so uh, obviously we don't have very good Wi-Fi here and um, we're just gonna see how legit this thing is because I'm pretty excited this is a USB USB C I got plenty of those so let's not unwrap that uh, looks like international options here for you um, We've got power adapter, so heavy adapter power if you if you need to power power it. Um, looks like a BNC cable for 
that's super thick, very strong and sturdy. Wow, that's 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 not that's a no joke cable right there. That is for professional high, higher end cameras, which I don't have. Look at that sim popper to take your sim poppers out. Uh, we got some antennas, standard US uh, standard cable. We got the tripod mount, which looks like I can just tripod it right there, but it's probably the yeah, it's probably not going to be the way I need. We've got some Wi-Fi uh, antennas and then Ethernet cable. So that is all the accessories. What matters is this guy and these guys. Pretty nuts. Uh, I'm not selling anything right now. We're talking about this. Not, but if you want to see the sales, check in the description down there. So, yeah, so you can put your cell phone antenna in there, which we just so happen to have one here. And we're going to give this a good old try, good 30 days. Okay, we're going to give this a good 30 days. And I like that they include the cell phone popper. That's pretty, that's pretty legit, not going to lie. So, whoop, okay. Uh, micro sim adapter looks like okay a little stickiness so let's take this put it on here okay and then we'll take this and uh, look at the description wow I, I don't know if that sticky is going to stick very well but let's let's just do our best it looks like up I hope they did up it looks like they did up because gravity would be in our favor for this one. I don't know. Might be wrong. Let's not try up. Let's try, uh, let's try down. Maybe that's gravity. We'll see. Not really, uh sitting in there the way I thought I'm trying to go with the description the description seems to think that it's that way I really don't want to go up with it but I mean not good sticky glue here you could probably put your own glue but um, I guess yeah if it would be it looks like it's supposed to go in like that so maybe it just sits in there. Let's try it. You know how these things go if you don't get them in and and it's broken. So let's try this. There we go. I heard it. Did you guys hear that? There we go. We got it in. I think that's right. Now what we do here is we take this piece and we pop it off. That comes off really easy. This is really heavy, which is nice. Um, I like that. Very solid build quality here. This is all metal. This is all metal. It's got its own little fan here. This is metal. This is metal. This is metal. This is plastic. So literally... This is like a brick of metal. It's amazing. So let's plug that in. There we go. And then tighten it with this screw here. And then tighten it with this screw here. Uh-oh. Nope. There we go. Let me change the lighting a little bit in here just to help you out. All right, now, yeah, so now let's put the antennas uh, right here. Okay, and then let's put the Wi-Fi antennas. And uh, it looks like you have to have, it looks like you don't have to have the node if I'm understanding this correctly. It looks like you can buy one, you can buy two. We have two, but we're literally streaming from that right now. Let's see what... 
Okay, so you could, well, that's an SD. So I think the other side has the node. Let's, let's take that off real quick just to take a look. I'm pretty sure that you don't need this extra piece. But I could be wrong. Okay. Oh man. Be careful. Alright, so no. Uh yeah, I'm gonna have to look into that. Doesn't look like you can run your SIM card without this thing. So I guess they make you buy this thing, which is a little different than the older model. So, hey John, hey Nefarious, hey Red Panda, what's going on? Okay, now it does have an internal battery, but we're not going to put this, we're not going to put the other SIM card on yet. So let's power this up. Nice, see what we got here. So... We should be immediately able to go live on our station. Okay, download the VDU app, connect Wi-Fi to VDU Go. Okay, so we got to go to our app here, and uh, we got to type in VDU Go. I guess it's that one. It's all by the apps, baby. Searching for devices on the network. Okay, got it. Okay. So, this doesn't... I mean, it, this doesn't connect... This, I gotta connect to Wi-Fi first. So... Broadcast settings, recording, video, audio, network. Can I just go like straight to the, yeah, live stream? Twitch, Facebook, Periscope, manual. Set up, URL. Oh man, if I can do this in the app, that's gonna take a lot, that's gonna be a lot faster. Okay, let's see if I can connect it to Wi-Fi. <laughs> Network, Wi-Fi. And then set up. Mm. Bluetooth, maybe? Should I try that? I should read the directions, shouldn't I? Cheesy, classy looking bit of gear? I know, I know. I hope I get to keep it. But, you know, if it doesn't make me money, then I'm not keeping it. Okay, so get online. Access the web UI, front face, connect the mode or modem, detach the left to right SAM panel to expose the USB ports, insert the node. Okay, done that. Connect your mobile phone to the vivid use go. Oh, oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, so we got to go to settings, right? And then we have to go to uh, Wi-Fi. And then this is producing a Wi-Fi, right? There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. Now it's connect going to connect to that. Once it connects to that, then we should be good. There you go. Vivid you go. Now we can go back. Click on on this. There it is. Yes. Okay. So we are wirelessly connected to this thing. So let's see if we can do settings and then network and then uh no, we want to do a system. No, what do we want? <laughs> oh, broadcast platform. Set up a new destination. And we're going to do custom. And then I'm going to type in the URL, which I have over here. Oh, I can hear it. You guys hear it? It's already making noises. 
already ready to go. I hope that doesn't get picked up by, um, what do you call it, the camera. That would be a pain if that picks up from the camera. All right, so let me click on stream. I can't show you what this is because obviously you would then be able to take over the stream. But basically it's something RTMP and then you put in the URL for whatever site that you're wanting to stream to. So currently we are streaming to a server that is located in New York. And that is how I'm able to send the stream to you from Kentucky. Now I could go to YouTube direct, but that system is a little bloated. It's not as fast and it doesn't give you the control that I have here. So the URL is done. Now I put in the stream uh, name, which is set preset by the server. And then there's no user password, automatic reconnect. And uh, we won't, we won't do all this start. Okay. Apply and home. Okay. So it says broadcast is ready. So now I'm going to go on the computer and hit what broadcast I want to add to the stream on here. So let's, uh, why isn't it? Now this camera's all messed up. Focus to infinity. Well then focus. <laughs> focus to infinity, but not really. Right? There we go. Oh my. Okay. All right, so let me go get the, let's see, we got to get the camera here. Now we got to come out of the camera signal to here. All right, so I got my trusty dusty backpack, so this will help me go live anywhere in the world. And uh, we're going to start with audio on the other part. And my main concern is can you guys get your headphones? Because I'm going to do an experiment here in a minute. And it's only going to work if you have headphones. So, yeah. Okay, so as far as the signal goes, what I have is a really long cable because I want to put this device in my backpack. And this is the one that connects to the camera and then it connects to the, the, the device. So that's the easiest way to do this. So I'm going to connect this to the camera now and then take off the lens cap. And now we should see the feed from there. Okay. All right. Now we're going to plug this in. The back of this to this device. Okay, so now the feed from the camera, let me switch it to video mode, is on video and they are literally the same weight. Like this camera is as heavy with as this thing is, so just so you're aware. So signal should be coming in and we should see it. So it says no video. So let's put the camera up here some and it says no video. So let's let's uh let's go back. Uh menu. How do you go back? Okay. Network settings, broadcast settings, manual manual okay so it's letting me pick the I'm really sorry that the the focus doesn't work it's supposed to continuously focus right but then it doesn't focus which is a pain in the butt it says continuous focus autofocus but then I can't change that there we go. All right, so bear with me as a moment as I try to take a look at 
the device. Uh, gonna teach her with Tetrises, right? I'm sorry. Menu. We gotta look at the directions. <laughs> what does the direction say? Okay, get online. From the UI, uh, connect and Wi-Fi's go is the last of the digits. When prompted, hit yes. Uh, open the app and select the corresponding video to you. When prompted, click yes to use the cellular. Data plan, navigate to the Wi-Fi menu. In client mode, connect via Ethernet, connect via core. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. All right, choose broad. Enter broadcast menu. Click RTMP. Enter the credentials. Select the desired vid video bit rate. And then hit go. Well. Oh, man. So, apparently, we're supposed to be there by now. So, let's hit broadcast. And then just see. Okay, we're getting a broadcast feed to the server. So, it says it's online. It says it's live. You cannot edit settings while you broadcast. Okay. However... We're not getting a video signal. So, that means that the camera's not giving us a signal. Which, I know that's highly unlikely. However possible, highly unlikely. Okay, so I thought the video would just like show up immediately, but it's like not. So let me go to... This thing is so warm. Overlays. Oh, broadcast in process. So the phone and the app are talking to each other. So that's that's pretty cool. Let me see why. Uh, I'm trying to go through the settings here on why it's not working. Video settings. Okay, input video. It's, there's zero video settings. Can I do the settings on here? Yeah, I can. Okay, let's do the settings on here. So, system. No. Let's do uh, video. Video and audio. No input. That's interesting. Alright. Let's, uh, let's shut the camera off. Shut the camera back on. Alright. So, the input should be a video, but it says no video, no input. Which I know that's highly unlikely because... There's nothing wrong with that HDMI cable. I mean, all the pins are good. We're plugging in at the device correctly. And it's plugged into the camera correctly. And everything has ba power. Oh, man. Oh, man. So that's, that's what you do when you go live, right? <laughs> That's what it's supposed to look like. So we need to get a video signal into here. So let me go get the computer. Alright, so we have the computer here, which has HDMI out, and we'll go HDMI out from the computer, and then let's do video HDMI in there. Video detected. Okay, 
So that means that, hmm, if the video is detected on this, then it's this thing. Which is crazy because that means that my USB cable is bad. That means that this HDMI cable is bad. If that's the case. Or it just means my camera's being really dumb today. Which is also a scenario. So no video on this. Is there another way I can test the video? This cable. I think there is. I mean... Didn't I, didn't I keep the HDMI settings the same? I mean, I don't think I changed any of that. Let's go to menu. Let's see. It might be on 4K. That might, that might do it. Let's see. That's probably in settings somewhere. Title menu. Mm, nope. Okay, HDMI settings. 1080p. 24. Yeah, I mean. That's right. So, it's under video settings 1. 1080p. Looks good to me. That's a pain. So now I need to go out of the camera and test it on a display. So, we're mobile, let's do that. So we're out of the camera. Let's go to the display. So now we're at the display. And... Okay, there's the camera. Let's plug into here and see if anything shows up here. It does. Alright, that looks so good. Doesn't that look good? So, it's the device. Because this is a good cable. It doesn't matter if I shake it, if I move it around. So, that's, that's pretty odd, man. That's pretty odd. Okay. So let me, uh, let me come back up here. Try this. Oh, dang it. All right, so we're gonna try this again. It says no video. Woo! Okay, so we know the camera works, and the video settings work, and we know the device can read a computer monitor. So, there's no reason that it shouldn't read this, this thing. Okay. But it says no video. It says no video. And if you click on video settings, it says... It doesn't give you the option. I mean, the only thing I can think of is that it's supposed to shoot at... The camera shooting at 60 frames. So if I go to menu... And I go HDMI settings, and I do 60, then I hit menu. This is crazy. You get all this gear and it's not working right. Got a run and gun, baby. We got a run and gun. No input detected. Okay, what if I change it to camera? Not to take a photo.
We're going to take a photo here. Huh. That is really weird. The easy, the most simplest part of the entire device is not working. Except the video. Huh. I wonder why that is. Uh, I don't have any other settings that I can think of to change. HDMI settings. I don't know what TC is. Let's try that. Why not, right? Nope. It didn't change anything. We know it's not the cable. Wow. What do you guys think? Well, I can turn the capture box off and on, but it came direct out of the, the computer. Watch. Watch when I go... Watch what happens when I go into this. Okay, and then I go into the computer. Which, by the way, is like a 4K resolution. Okay. Watch. So the computer just blinked, and there it goes. 1080p. It's got the video. So, and then I can show you, like, I could show you that my screen's working. So I can take any video feed now from the from the computer here and well it's not we're not online again because we're not broadcasting what the flip this thing's getting warm you think this is going to be able to stream for hours I'm surprised how warm it's getting I really am I mean, we know it works. I don't see anything wrong with this cable. <laughs> wow, that is so weird. All right, let's shut it off. Let's just shut it off. This thing, this thing is definitely gonna need to be cooled, so putting it in the backpack Probably not going to work. Probably not, but we will see. On a hot summer day, black, I don't know. I'm a little afraid of that. Okay, so, no video. There it is, no video. What the flip? Let's, uh, we gotta go back. We gotta hit connect. We gotta hit bibbity go. Bippity boppity boo. And then it says no video. Wow. That's so weird. No input. Just doesn't make any sense to me. I'm baffled. I am baffled. Can you explain this to me? Why this is not working? Well, it looks like I'll be calling support. A support. Uh, yeah, so that's the setup, basically. You got the Vivid you Go, and then you have a cable, and then you have a camera. And if you hook the Mac into the device, Picks it up immediately. Change the cam, put the camera in the device, doesn't work. Plug the camera into a 1080p display, works fine. But you plug it into this thing, it doesn't work. That doesn't make any sense. It says no video. There's no video settings I can change. I don't have like, we don't have a lot of video controls. Like I can't be like, you know, doing all these crazy things to the video or anything. And it's, this is the app, embedded in vi video and there's nothing there's nothing here so without without a video feed it's not gonna it's not gonna pick anything up 
So, I don't know. It's got these cool lights on it, though. See, that's yeah, got some cool lights. I'm kind of frustrated. I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty frustrated right now. I got, I got a direct connection here. I mean, it doesn't matter what I set on this. HDMI settings. 24. TC output off. Control for HDMI off. Does that matter? No. <laughs> Control for HDMI. Resolution. 1080i. Let's try that. Oh. Oh, it says not ready. Ready. Oh. Oh. Well, let me try auto then. No video detected. Oh, I think that was it. Can it do 4K? Nope. I think we found it. I think we found the solution, guys. So if I do 1080p, it won't... It doesn't accept 1080p video from this camera. But if you do 1080i, it says ready. Ho! Alright, we're moving. Man. That took a hot minute. Okay, so now I should be able to hit broadcast. Uh, broadcast. And it should be. Oh man. Okay, currently the audio is coming out of the other camera. But our vid 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 video go is going. Video go is going! I think this is just connected to the phone and then this is the cell. Because it's getting pretty warm. So, uh, 1080i is what you have to have from the camera. Lesson learned. 1080i. Put it in 1080i. Now, Let's take that and uh, get the microphone on. So we're going to boot up the microphones here. And then you guys are going to do a live test with me. So let's go back to this screen. Let's turn on this microphone. Let's turn on the other microphone. Woo! That was a mess. Tell me that wasn't a mess. Say, Jared, that was a mess. Okay. Uh, Teradek, is it last year, Live You Now? No, it's, it's this year. Okay, so now we should have audio from our video go. Let's check. <laughs> video feed and audio feed. So we do see an audio thing moving there. Props to you if you can keep a consistent high quality, right? This is what we're going for. Oh. Okay. Sorry. All right. Okay, uh, let's try this. Let's try, oh, input. Okay, let's try that in there. All right, all right. No audio. It's always audio with Jared, isn't it? It always is. Okay, so there we go. Okay, we got audio, but we're redlining. So let's change this thing. Let's put it on minus 20. Okay, there we go. That should be a good audio feed. Oh, man. Let's try that. Okay. Audio feed check. 
All right, so do you get an audio feed out of this now? And is it lined up? That's probably, I need to zoom out. That is zoomed out. Okay. Okay, let's see if that works. Does that, does that bring in good audio feed? Because this is what we're talking about here, baby. We want the ultimate in clarity. This is a single core audio. It looks like I am negative 10 decibels. It says the stream is going. Nobody's talking to me. If you do not talk to me, I don't know if you can hear me. So what I'm going to do is, oh, it's blurry. It's focusing on the camera. Okay, we're going to kill this feed. All right, we should be rolling wirelessly now. Uh, yes, yes, stream says yes, great audio, great audio. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Guys, we're going to blow your mind here in a minute. Now the video is not, not high quality. Let's figure out. Okay, high quality video, high quality audio. I'm going to have to go get my hat. Okay, this is running through the Rode mic. Now what I'm going to do is blow your mind, and we're going to run it through... We're going to run it through a 3D microphone. So it's going to be awesome. So let me go get my hat because I'm going to go outside. We're going to show you how this is working. This is sweet. OK, so uh, as you guys know, I always have issues with battery power. So to fix that, we're going to shut the camera off and turn the camera on and plug in this doohickey. Unless we think we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay on battery. Let's not run out of battery. Let's, let's take this phone off. So this is what has been doing the stream for the last two days. This amazing Samsung S, S8. And now it's for sale. So I'm going to take this off as a tripod. And I'm going to put this on, and uh, so bear with me, that might be a little noisy. Well, no, the microphone's on me right now. Okay, so now i got to figure out where to put the Teradac thing. Holy moly cannoli. Holy moly cannoli. Okay. Woo! We're getting somewhere. All right, let's wrap this cable up. Ho! Oh! So that's a little bit heavier than I, than I planned for, I suppose. <laughs> Clearly I need to work on my tripod skills. Okay, how is the clarity? We probably, oh, I'm gonna break my lens, I swear. <laughs> okay, blurry but great sound. It's, I guess I'm bumping it or something. Okay, let me unplug this. So this is running the feed. Can I shut this off? I think I should shut this off. There we go. I shut that off. Okay, I'm going to put this in my pocket. Let's take the microphone and put it up my shirt here. Sorry about that. Okay, so now we have audio, which should sound amazing, and uh, video quality should be getting better. Now I've got to take this thing, and let's put it in the backpack. Oh man, game changer coming here in any moment, any flipping moment. Okay, all right, all right. We're gonna just literally just slide this into the backpack. This is my goal here. Woo! You guys are watching some crazy stuff going on. All right, we're just gonna slide that in the backpack. We're gonna put the backpack on. Okay, looks good. All right. All right, all right, here we go. I got lots of cable. I should run this through my shirt. Okay, we're gonna leave the backpack open. All right, now, I'm gonna whoop, pull out some cable here. Now I'm gonna go YouTube on my phone, which is gonna be a Goodness, goodness, awful uh, degrade, but uh, <laughs> it's going to be 40 seconds delayed, so you guys are just going to have to bear with me on this. 
Oh, the audio does sound so good. Here we go. That's right. Yankees got it. Wave of the future. Okay. So, um, and now let's go out. Let's go outside. And then we're going to, oh, I just broke my tripod. <laughs> Probably because it kept falling. Okay. All right. Uh, let me, I'm going to have to lens cap you for a second. I don't think my mom wants me to see the entire house. Just don't even tell her I'm doing this. Okay, how is the quality? Is the quality like uh, 1080p here? Or are we like 720 here? Can we, can we push it up to 10, 720? Do you guys see like crystal clear here or what? I know it's black, but... Okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay, so now we are at, um, we should be at 10, seven, we should be at 1080p to the, to the YouTube, but, um, if not, maybe my YouTube's just not reading it through my phone quality. Yeah, I can set the setting on my phone quality. Now, you're currently outside, and, uh, you, we should be able to see just how clear it is of mobile live streaming. Now my phone probably can't keep up because it's also sending a cell signal. So let me drop it down to 480. You guys let me know if this is working. I'm not seeing any chat yet, uh, whether it's working or not. And I'm not on Wi-Fi. So it should be clear. Is it clear? <laughs> is it clear? Tell me if it's clear. That's the goal here. We need clarity. Man. This is all just all a bunch of tests, yo. And I'm gonna have to let's go to the mall. Let's go to let's go to the mall. I'm gonna have to majorly um, upgrade my it's uh what do you call it? My uh, arm, my arm strength. I'm gonna work on my cores here because uh, it's <laughs> it's um not the best. Now what is nice is I can't, sort of nice, is I can't see myself, but uh, I'm sure the audio feed is good. I just don't know if the video is good. Nobody's talking to me. There's 14 people watching me live and they don't even talk to me about this stuff. Come on guys. You, you know there's a 40 second delay. You gotta help me out here. All right, so we are currently on this microphone, the road sitting in front of me, and um, I'm really gonna have to work on my strength here because I'm like, it's like hurting my arm. <laughs> and I've only done it for a minute. So uh, yeah, let's, um, let's just go to the next level. Let's check out the Zoom uh, 3D microphone. There's a cool owl howling behind me and you should be able to hear it on the new microphone. So let me go over here. I don't know what this is, but it's I'm going to drop my phone on concrete. Okay, so we're going to turn on the zoom microphone here. And that should just be a hold. I can't see anything. <laughs> oh man, we're going to have to figure out how I can at least see the feed. Okay, I'm going to shut off the this camp this I'm going to shut off this audio um, on me. And I'm going to switch over to the 3D audio, which should be, I should be keeping the gain at around 12, they said, to get the best quality. So, guys, if you have headphones, um, I highly recommend you put them on right now. Okay, we are, we are live. It, it might be a little bit too loud. Let me see if I can change the volume down just a little bit for you. There we go. That should be good. And uh, you guys are coming to me in now 3D audio. <laughs> Man, I better not drop this stuff. So uh, yeah, so I should be able to talk to you and this should be your left ear. Hello from the left ear. And then this should be your right ear. Hello from the right ear. So you let me know if I was right on that. <laughs> but basically, I can literally just walk 
around anywhere and I should have like HD high quality signal feed coming in. I don't know why the chat is broken or nobody's using it at all. That's kind of frustrating when I'm trying to do a live test to not see the live chat. But uh, it's okay. I forgive you and all your your cruel duel duelings. <laughs> wow. Okay. 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 They're back. They're back. Rest in peace, headphone users. Oh no. Was it that loud? It was too loud, wasn't it? Is it too loud right now? <laughs> it's terrible. I don't even know what it's doing. I should probably go get um, my other connection. Okay. All right. I got to buy headphones. Well, yeah, you can't hear it unless it's on headphones. That's the only problem. You're not gonna be able to. You're not gonna be able to hear the difference unless it's on headphones. So this is behind. This is behind the camera. This is in front of the camera. This is. This should be your left ear, and this should be your right ear. <laughs> My ears are bleeding. Oh no. Okay. See? Finally. Communication here is key. Let me turn it down then. My ears are bleeding. Okay. Is this better? No. Okay. So, I gotta turn the gain down. That's my problem. Oh, the gain was up way too high. The gain was at like 80, and I need to be at like 40. Okay. Okay, let's try that. Okay, this should be your left ear. This should be your right ear. And I should be able to talk without blowing your eardrums out. Are your, did your ears stop bleeding now? Please let me know. Um, otherwise, that's, that's the audio. That is it. Much better, he says. Much better. Good. Good. So we're at uh, 40. And I can even drop it down a little more, it looks like. To 28. There we go. 20. Let's do it to 20. Now, you should be able to be silenced by the beauty of the quietness. Now it is nice and clear. Now. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's go check the garage again. Whoa! Oh, that wasn't a bee. Did you guys hear the bee? Okay, let's go check. You should listen to what I'm doing. You should be able to hear all of this on this 3D microphone, and it should sound like it's around you as if you're here with me. So I'm currently walking up the stairs, and this is the left and right side of me. I'm gonna open up the door. Oh, is that mom? Oh, hi. And then, we are good. There we go. Let's see how that works. Let me open up the app real quick and see what we got. Oh, it's in my other pocket. Okay, let me check the audio there now from the garage feed. And it should be... It should be incredible. It should be perfect. So, at any moment, I can switch to the regular channel audio, and I can just go back and forth. So, hopefully, the camera auto focuses on everything. I'm gonna have to work on like the clarity and things, and I just wish I knew what it looked like. So maybe I need like a little display or something because I don't know all the time if I'm in focus or not. So. Cool. Thanks for joining, and I'm gonna kill the stream and then rewatch it because I have to enjoy it like you. Okay, more to come. Bye bye. Wow, that's hot. That is really hot. Can't put it in the backpack all day. <laughs>